Clans World Championship, the first golden ticket that will be handed. All right, on the Chasmac ESA side, we got Takana, Yada, Lavi, Heroya, and Equal. Very, very solid squad there. And they've won some big competitions recently. So I I'm looking at them, and I'm also leaning towards them a little bit there because I know that they can handle the pressure at the top here. But on the side here, Inquisition will run Fabian, Mark, Stefan, Simone, and Einstein. So also a very strong with new styles of attacks. Uh, it's going to be going back Ooh. to an old mainstay, though. This Hydra army that's got dragons and Inferno dragons in it, bringing one dragon rider this time. Yada going to be the first to strike for Chasmat Gaming uh, against what looks like an easy town hall in the bottom corner of this base, uh, but it's going to be a very difficult interior to focus on. Three spread out Inferno towers, and of course that monolith looms large right next to, it looks like a poison... Uh, spell on defense here not going to be raging it up uh, this time yeah but he has this recall spell as well so he can extract this queen as soon as she get, starts to move into a bit of danger she makes her way forward so she can go in here she can secure the town hall she can form the funnel on that area of the base and then she can redeploy and go out somewhere else here notice how we brought four healers and the unicorn here that's enough that he's able to fit it inside of the the capacity of the recall spell so we can pull out every single one of those healers he can pull out the unicorn and he can pull out the queen if you bring five healers you end up leaving one behind so doesn't want that to have happen so as soon as he takes a town hall pops the queen ability redeploys here he's already got the funnel set on the right side and now you can see a lane that is created due to the dragons into the court they can go in there behind the sweeper get the defensive queen down specifically take the monolith down that he can use his king his siege machine and his world champion still on standby to support on the back end of the base here so a strong setup woody and he's off to a good start yeah very happy to see the recall spell getting used your newest spell addition to the game and basically gives you a second hero uh attack here with the archer queen getting a second chance to charge along this right side now uh that bottom side has been taking a huge hit and with those air sweepers pushing up they are not going to get a chance to shove those balloons or dragons out of the line of fire here He's trying to get this dark model down though, and it's not gonna get engaged early on. It's gonna start firing away, unfortunately for him, at the Grand Warden of all things. That going down early on is really bad news for Yata, and I'm just like wondering where the rest of this army is at now. Yeah, well, he's got the world champion moving in from the left side of the base there. The dragon's in the core there. Looks like the slammer dropped out a super dragon. So that's in there working with the king. The king's still alive. The king is tanking some okay. of the back end defenses. So he's got a chance here. But this top corner with the Tesla farm and the defensive warden is going to be a bit difficult to move through. But he tries to protect the world champion. His uh, arc, that arch tower on the outside is picking away the world champion. Oh. She's not going for it. She's just continuing to sustain oh. that damage as he pushes it into the backside. But the world champion goes down. The King finally breaks the wall. He might claim the Eagle Artillery. A very, very close attack there, but he clearly needed the Queen to survive. Lost control of his Queen, and she ended up, as you see where she died on the right side, she circled out of yeah. that compartment. He tried to funnel to push her in, but she routed around that Expo, and with the Expo combined with the extra damage there when she stepped in towards the Teslas, it just overwhelmed her a little bit too much, and she didn't have her ability since she used it to secure the Tunnel Takedown. A very close attack. I'm convinced that that would have gone through had the queen stayed up there if he would have potentially got a rage up back to the other side now where inquisition will have their first chance to move on in and there is going to be a, a very uh close and focused application of force to this base set up by heroia simon will be firing off with a flame flinger even allowing it to take a few shots here from that archer tower uh, before he gets those balloons in to protect it but with this hot drop simon nonetheless has secured a beachhead uh, to assault the interior now gets a big lightning strike in uh and we'll have to hope that the rest of the spells he's brought is going to be enough to support this army now with four electro titans we are finally going to see those big behemoths marching into battle eric yeah, typically when we see the Electro Titan Zap attack, we see it with the lightning being used over by the Town Hall. But with the base building shifting, 
and people stack in that opposite side where he has the rage tower that was over there he's just gonna circle around the north side oh this is risky woody this is really really risky he's gonna take a very long approach to the town hall circling all the way around the north side and then turning back around once he gets up there to take the turn towards the town hall he's got one jump spell to carry him through and i'm a little bit concerned about this this wall break that sends him into the defensive queen compartment is going to be one of the critical plays of the war and here, here it comes. goes oh it's going to the i don't know that that wall break is the right spot here what do you think it rolled all the way around and through but it didn't crack uh, those tiny compartments on the interior archer queen doesn't seem interested in funneling to the interior of the base let now there she goes all right catches hold of those enemy builder huts and will get a few pop shots off that's going to deny some more splash value to the scatter shot on defense she's going to engage the enemy cc troops as well taking them down but just a unicorn to try to kill her up she'll make her way all the way to the eagle artillery and try to finish that off for those cc troops distractor oh no doesn't quite get it she's gonna have to focus on them now pops the ability and it's gonna get a little bit more uh of a lifeline mm. to try to hold on here but this is gonna be a long time spent on the top right side and now on the left side jump is out and simon is trying to make it all the way to the town hall he need need needs that to stay in this match inquisition are falling short can they come up on top surmount the hill fire oh. away oh <laughs> he's gonna secure the town hall with that electric titan the rage comes in clutch nice. gives it some hp buffer gets the healers to top it off and the freeze came in at a clutch moment this king is still moving he's got another 26 seconds he's got some cleanup down south there working with him he's got one electro titan left here he puts in his extra cleanup in for the left there to go pick up the last storage on that side but this king needs to go directly to the inferno but you know what Look at the invisibility tower. This invisibility tower could make the king invisible when he strikes it, and that'll force oh. him directly into the inferno, which will actually work to his advantage. There it goes. King oh. does not get invisible in time, and he's no. out of clock as well. It is 98% no. here. So close, and he almost pulls it through. Out of their first hit, uh, and it looks like uh, Imperium Titan's got a three star as well against Spec Light. Uh, Along the bottom side of that lineup, though, no other triples have been scored in the second stage of the Swiss uh, match here. Yeah, but there we go with the next attack here. Heroya will send in a, looks like a little bit of a, a kill squad. He's going to go in with the king and the queen at the bottom of the base there. The queen is going to get forced out to the right. She's going to use the headhunter and the skeleton spell to provide some distraction and get that king under control there and then she'll split off to the right she's joined by a golem she does have an expo pickup on her so he has to be mindful of that and also the cc gets pulled by the headhunters as they make their way forward so they're gonna go over the king and we'll see where he decides to put in the world champion here looks like she's the point up the right side to go support the queen skill spells coming down as the golem starts to pop that'll pick up the distraction in that right side compartment and give them the protection that they need so now the question is how far can these heroes go they're doing fantastic work there so or the heroes alone are taking out that entire bottom and right side of the base there and the Roar champion and queen are still moving strong with abilities intact there woody looking strong as he pushes through the town hall now big force moving into the top side compartment that's a lot of defense and dps can be firing off against them but wow with a rage spell to support these balloons they are going to be popping every defense down Arroyo knows that that top compartment finished off means that the two stars are claimed it's just up to clean up now. But that left compartment is looking awfully terrifying with an Archer Queen firing away and plenty of Teslas to start zapping at these balloons. It is just the overwhelming offense from Haroya that is going to come in over the top to knock them down and get an easy three star for Chasmac EA. They are back in it and with a vengeance here, Aaron. <laughs> These headhunters can't decide what they want to attack there. I think he made the defensive queen invisible for a second there because they started going to clean up. They finally turn on her. They go in there. They take her down. She's not going to stop this Lalo from going through. And it's all smiles <laughs> over there as he picks up the triple and will put some pressure over to Inquisition, who had the lead going to this. Only a percentage, though. So if they, aren't, if they aren't able to get the triple here, they will not sustain that lead. So a beautiful attack there. I, I this space a bit more compact. Sometimes you see those buildings spread out to the very edges, but instead Lavi is going to let that splash damage do the work uh, on this space, trying to utilize uh, the compactness uh, to, to 
get those enemy troops funneled into a, a smaller section. Sometimes you see Electro Dragons used against a base like that because you can get a lot of chain value against those targets, but Einstein's going to be bringing the law loan nonetheless. Uh, early strike into the bottom corner there, looking for uh, a CC pull and takes out quite a few defenses, but uh, that Archer Queen has taken a lot of damage along the bottom side. Uh, she needs to get healed back up, and with the Unicorn down, unfortunately, it's just going to be the healers uh, to get that job done. I'm more worried about the Multi-Inferno not going down here, though. Like, that Multi-Inferno was the primary target of that compartment, and with it still standing, the Queen was supposed to be able to round around that compartment and keep her healer safe as she pushed towards the Town Hall. So now he's going to have to find a way to go in as a backup to deal with that Multi-Inferno. He decides to use a haste and surges in a bunch of balloons. Do they take it? He has to put more into it. The Monolith and the Air Defense chip it away at him, but he does take it down there. That's a big investment, a backup investment, after he already invested his blimp so he gets it under control and most importantly control the queen's pathing protect the healers and that's going to be more important than a handful of balloons that you're going to end up wasting there yeah a lot of times these players will have a few extra balloons that are sitting in their pocket just for an occasion like that unfortunate for einstein that it happens early in the attack and that he has to uh, spend his uh flexibility there but if everything goes according to plan from here on out, he might yet still get that three star. Arch Queen takes a massive beating on the interior and is going to be rotated by that tornado trap into that Giga Poison. She's taken a lot of damage and that's going to force out a raid spell and an invisibility from Einstein to try to keep her up and healthy. She will hang on now, but what has Einstein got left? The support with spells of the La Loon stage of the strike. 16 balloons being in the wings but this archer queen must stay steady and engage the enemy archer queen as well oh actually it looks like the barbarian king got the kill on that one but here come the balloons up top now finally looking for that first air defense there's another one still on the left corner of that base that they're gonna have to uh overcome here later on eric can they get through the eagle and this multi-target inferno right next to it yeah, well, he's got the queen at least hanging for the scatter shot. The queen, and oh, she walks away. So now the scatter shot's gonna turn on the blues here. That's gonna hurt. Oh, wait, the healers took the strikes there. The queen turns back. This queen is uh, definitely going rogue there. He tried to wall break her into the core of the base there, but the wall breaker hit some giant bombs earlier on and ended up dying out. So the balloons are trying to hang on the best they can. The queen pops her ability, surges through the wall. She's gonna help get the scatter shot down, but look at the clock. He's oh, out of time. Oh, rip. He's, he's close here. He's close here, Woody. Yeah, those pets are doing a lot of work despite having lost the balloons. The pets and the heroes are still in it. Air Defense will be able to take down the Grand Warden, and time is out now uh, for Einstein of Inquisition. A couple of bat spells, one of the skeleton spells, and a whole bunch of invisibility. So looking across the base here as potential targets, I feel like... Oh, he's going to go after the Infernos. I thought he might go to the Monolith there, but he throws in a basketball on each of the Infernos, trying to take out the buildings that would be raged up by that defensive rage tower. But if he can get those three targets down, he's in a good spot there. But the Battle Builders are actually a target of the... Oh, actually, he claims the Battle Builders and gets the Infernos, and he picks up the CC. That is five buildings claimed off of two bat spells and a skeleton spell. That's very, very impressive, and it takes a big chunk out of this base here, Woody. Lobby is on fire, and look at this bowler getting splash value, chaining onto enemy air defense as well. Tossing that rock, and like an avalanche, gets it almost all the way down. He's going to need to throw out a wizard as well to finish that cleanup. But really excellent, precise attack so far from him. And with a, a Dragon Rider up top, locking directly onto that eagle artillery, and it's going to be another key defense eliminated early in this strike. Lavi is just really impressive right now in the first minute of his hit, taking down a lot of those key defensive uh, targets. I think I'm feeling really good uh, about the second stage of this hit, giving him a chance to triple. Absolutely. He just needs to get to the town hall here. The queen is getting targeted by the mall. She goes to an early ability. He's got the raged up expo that is sitting right behind the town hall. He might have to burn a freeze there, but he doesn't. Ah, does he have enough? Actually, look at that. The ice hound freezes up the defenses down south. His own freeze locks down the town hall, and the queen claims it. That was a critical point of attack there because he did not want to have to have the ward ability be forced to push him through the town hall, but oh. he's gonna lose those blows anyways. He hits the tornado trap and a whole bunch of red air bombs, the town hall poison, and that entire pack ends up going down regardless. 
He did save quite a few balloons, though, in the pocket. He sent in a lot into that town hall, but he got what he needed and is still going to be pushing in with another salvo. He is firing on all, all cylinders right now. The second barrel is going to be shooting off into the core. Now that dark monolith will go down. It's just going to be the exterior buildings along the top side to try to deny these balloons. But with the freeze out and another haste to commit to this attack, it looks to me like Lavi has got exactly what he wanted from the early stage of this hit. And it's going to be following up with all the forces that he can muster. Is it going to be enough to get the three star though? It looks like he's got quite a bit left, but it's not yet clinched. 34 seconds for cleanup and he is moving as fast as he can. Lightning coursing through his veins. Lavi looks for a three star and will not be denied unless it's the one last archer tower that can keep him off i don't think that's going to be enough to stop these pups and minions though and he looks pretty happy pounding his fist onto the table there comes the three star boom he knocks it down let's swap back over to see inquisition now how will they respond they now have half as many stars as chaz back and need a triple here just to have a one star deficit very terrifying position for fabian to be in now trying to follow up and missing the eagle artillery with that early strike big heavy mm. defense that will be healed up now as the battle builders race in to repair it what can fabian do to try to fix this early miss eric no well, he needs to first of all just concentrate and continue the plan as he was working he ends up dropping in that blimp and oh it's another problem here so Spells invested into the lightning, and then the blimp drop ends up missing the defensive queen and the scatter shot there. So that is just a compounding problem. What he needs to do from here is he needs to go in and finish breaking the ring of defenses. He needs to have the heroes connect to the hole that's created by the lightning. That's step number one. But then he's going to almost be forced to put the Lalo through the town hall there when he has the... Well, I mean, I think he might have anyways, but he would definitely need to secure the town hall at this point here and try to salvage what he can because I feel like it's not going exactly perfect for him and he needs to make sure that he at least locks in a two-star here. What's this queen doing? Well, that town hall is buried pretty deep on the top side there, protected by the monolith as well, and that barbarian king ready to fire away if that archer queen wanders in too close. Double Lava Hound, though, does give him a bit more flexibility if he needs to swap off and go to the top compartment. But it's looking like he's going to stick to the plan anyways. First one is going to be floating into the top to protect a few of these balloons, and he's holding on to nine more with quite a few spells to support on the interior. But with that Eagle Artillery still standing up and not finding any other way to take it down, I'm expecting just way too much splash damage for him to deal with. He has sent in three balloons to try to finish off that Eagle Artillery, and you know what, I'm not sure if there's any air defenses that can take them down. Two of them float over to the Eagle now, and it looks like uh, you're barely going to start taking some damage from... Oh, the scatter shot knocks them out of the sky, Aaron. Yeah, that's a big blow right there, but the Eagle Artillery Strikes are still incoming, and the Eagle Artillery claims a big pack of blues on the left side there. That Eagle stayed standing. I, I assume it was supposed to go down there with a lightning, and I like it looks like he had a lot of spells there. A little bit upset right there. Definitely some visible frustration out of Fabian right there with that one. And it's another miss, unfortunately, for them. So that is going to be a two-star lead. He tried to recover with the best he could. He still managed that Lalo quite well, all things considered. But when you're taking Eagle Artillery strikes right there, and you like generally need to get those blues to clump up so they start one-shotting one the defenses, that's going to give them the best chance of moving through. But when they're clumped up, then obviously the Eagle Artillery strikes and the scatter shot strikes are that much more effective. 82% still get... Uh, Chaz Mac, once again, another decision decisive pickup in that encounter whereas equal will get a chance uh to try to bring them back in over the top a three star here from chas mac will put them at 11 stars one of the best performing out of the field of 16 uh, and give them a strong claim to being one of the top teams here in our swiss stage let's see if he can pull it off with another law loons threat He's got these healers getting targeted by the Archer Tower. They're deployed inside of the range of it, so he's going to end up potentially losing the Archer Tower unless he can get it down in time. He drops in a balloon to go deal with it, but it's not enough to save it. He also has a bat spell on standby here, and notice that right side compartment. 
or the left side, I guess, as well. You got the air defenses way out to the edge of the base there where you can get some cover. The slammer is going to go in there, try to get the eagle artillery down. But at the same time, the slammer is forming the funnel for the queen. The queen gets two, no, one wall break to push in. She's got additional wall breaks. She's going to be attempting them now. Rages up the queen and will get that monolith down. And she has clean access to not only take the monolith in that inferno, but continuing on to the defensive queen, to the rage tower, and to take out the other multi-inferno. And if we can get all the multi-infernos under control here and eliminate these rage towers, then this Lalo is going to have a much, much easier push. But that slammer also did a lot of work here. He set up this very, very nicely here, Woody. He's in a good spot. Yeah, half the base has been demolished just by this early strike alone, and the queen is still firing away there, well protected by healers at the back. He has really done some incredible work with these heroes early on and left very little of the base to have to worry about. Now, two dozen balloons ready to float in overhead and finish off that right side compartment. They are going to go straight up the gut, not wasting any time at all. Equal sins in the Lava Hound to give them a little bit of protection and will freeze just Ooh. the town hall alone. But that is good value after all. Protecting those balloons with that Grand Warden. He's going to wait just a moment here before he pops the Eternal Tome. Come on, come on, give it to us. There it is. They'll now be able to float safely over that Poison Spell. We'll finish off this base with hardly any doubt in my mind. This looks like a three-star to be, Eric. Well, not quite yet here, Woody. He still has the defensive queen standing. His queen did end up dying. He tried to get his real champion to go in after that queen. He tried to use the headhunters there. Now he's got sweepers knocking him back. And he's taking red air oh. bombs. It was look. It was looking good. If the queen would have survived, then he would have been in a good spot. He made one critical mistake there around the midpoint of the attack. He had his royal champion try to go after the scatter shot, but he accidentally made the royal champion and the scatter shot invisible, which made so he had to invest additional spells up there, and then he didn't have those oh, spells no, no. to support his queen as she fought off the defensive queen. So he's gonna end up losing everything here, and oh, then Inferno my. stays standing, and the defensive queen yeah. holds the line in the end. But what he if he would have got that invisibility to just cover the road champion and not the scatter shot, then he wouldn't have had to invest two freezes. Could have kept his queen alive. But either way, it has opened up an opportunity now. So we'll see if Savan can make it happen here for Inquisition. He's in the opening with, looks like a clone Yeti bomb. Is that what this is? He's got the clone. He's able to clone up the Yetis and some of these balloons as well. Getting a whole bunch of additional troops here inside of the rage. If they can jump the walls and get these in... Okay, he doesn't get the Infernos. Is that okay here? It doesn't. Maybe he wasn't going for the Infernos there, but he got the Rage Tower out of the way. So the Infernos are going to be dealing out half as much damage when he does approach them later on. And we'll see what he can do with that. But yeah, that's a pretty solid amount of value right there. A lot of times when people are going for a base that would potentially be good for like a super... A super wizard bomb to drop in there and try to use invisibilities and rages a lot of times the yeti bomb is a lot safer option and more consistent as well with a lot less risk so i like the play there he'll use that as a funnel and now he'll try to push his heroes over towards the town hall yeah it can be real tempting to try to overcommit early on when you uh, drop a uh, battle blimp in like that to try to take out too many targets the fact that stefan was able to focus in on what mattered most to him that eagle artillery uh, might just still give him all that he needs to carry on to victory here now. Archer Queen's going to take a giant bomb in that bottom compartment, and she is getting perilously close to being finished off. But that's still going to be a lot of DPS that she can commit if she is able to stay up. No, not going to send in any spells to help her out. And Stefan is going to have to rely on this Lava Hound Balloon Army to float on in. Lots of damage from those Inferno Towers, both the Stingle burning up the Lava Hound and the Multis now taking care of those balloons. It is going to be a big hurdle to come in over the top with the, still the town Whoa. hall standing, firing away at all of these balloons. I don't see how he can Ooh. get a triple at this point. I mean, he's still got his Royal Champion moving down south there. And if he can get past the defensive Royal Champion, which he has his King coming in to support. The King was okay. wrapping around that side of the base there with the Phoenix. He's got Headhunters traveling through. He does get the defensive Royal Champion out of the way. His Royal Champion could single hand the save the deck here. He pops the RC ability, sweeps out that air the defense the backside. He's got balloons. He's got the Diggy. He needs to throw the balloons in for distraction. He's got yes. that invisibility as well. He's got it. He pulls through, but he needs to get it cleaned up in time rc gets the support and can you believe it woody how did he pull that back it looked out of the water but it's a triple instead 
And these are the best moments in Clash of Clans when you feel like things are getting too far gone, and yet somehow, some percentage here. We're only what a 15 building split there in the war, and so that's that's gonna give them a chance here. But they'll have to get a defense here. This one needs to be at an 86% to lock in the win here for Chaz Mackie. Not the hugest hurdle to jump over here. But if they don't make it to that mark there, then it leaves the door open for Inquisition to try to steal it. Yeah, and Super Witch is the first time being uh, deployed on the tournament stage here. A very reliable strategy. One that doesn't necessarily always get that three star, but just has so much staying power that it almost always forces its way into the mid-late 80 percentage here. It would really be a gigantic upset on defense for Fabian to be able to prevent the victory now for Chazmac. As you were relating earlier, Eric, it just is a two-star 86% necessary to claim victory now. And I certainly think that that is within reach uh, for Takana, the last striker for Chazmak, who held onto those Super Witches pretty late. But it looks like with the four of them now marching in, the big bony boy is going to be blocking shots out in front. As long as he gets this Grand Warden timed perfectly to prevent that Town Hall from blowing up all uh, of the forces here in the bottom corner, he is going to be very safe to continue on for the win. Absolutely, and witches tend to perform better at a push through the town hall than almost any other troop there because they do move slower. They do have some pretty solid range, so they can sit back. So he's fighting off the CC. He's got big boys continue to spawn and give him some cover as he makes his way forward. But most importantly, when super witches push their way directly through the town hall like that, they give time for the poison to fade before he has to heal his path into it. A lot of other troops like melee troops, like P.E.K.K.A.s, like Yetis, like the Electro Titans, they all end up surging past the town hall and it pulls the healers into danger. But super bullers and super witches are fantastic and he takes full advantage of that with the lightning being used on the right side as a support and a funnel and then drives right to the town hall where they least expect a smash attack to go through. So I like this attack here, but witches are always a little bit slow. So we got to keep an eye on the clock here, Woody. We do indeed with a lot of damage coming in from the multi-target Inferno out on the bottom right side. Ooh. He is going to be losing those super witches now and just has to rely upon the remaining forces to try to get some cleanup here. Holding on to that royal champion ability, he is Ooh. hoping that he can get enough damage in to surpass that 86% mark, 85. but he's not looking too happy about it. Has popped off the ability now and there's nothing left. What happened to her? Where did she <laughs> They're go? Done. They're done. The witches are gone. They got into the crossfire at the core of the base there. The scatter shots, the multi infernos, the monolith, and the eagle artillery strikes there, overwhelming the healing output. And it's a miss, but this is an opportunity now. Manage over RVNT. And as we saw in the bottom right corner, once again, Clash Champs just obliterating the competition. I want to see Clash Champs in our next war if possible because they are doing so well in the competition today. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, they're absolutely killing it over there. So, yeah, that is an impressive push for them. But here we go. This war comes down to this. Mark is the man to get it done as he goes in with the lightning to take out the Rage Tower, trimming out all the buildings around the Rage Tower. And one of those was an Inferno. One of them was an Expo. He's going to send in the Log Launcher while the King is providing tanking, while the Golem is providing tanking, and while the Queen is potentially going to give some protection on the top side as well. He's going to get the Log Launcher to take out out not only the expo but the already weakened eagle artillery and that inferno and push his way to clear the entire left side of the base there with that combination so that's gonna set him up very very nicely but looking forward here we have the town hall with an invisibility tower we got the multi inferno up at the top there the queen is very north if she can go get the defensive world champion down that would take a lot of headache off the backside. if he takes out that scatter shot with the queen this base is going to be wrecked he puts in the road champion up there as well. He got the queen to take down the defensive road champion. That clears the way. This is looking really good. I think the biggest obstacle is just securing the town hall and getting past this invisibility tower, buddy. He's looking solid. But rem remember that nothing short of a three star is going to be worth anything here to Inquisition. Chazmak has 12 on the board. And with Inquisition holding only nine, they will need all three of those stars just to tie it up on stars and eat out a percentage victory. A strong early strike for Mark, but can he follow it up with just enough overwhelming force on the back end? A minute and 20 seconds will separate out victory from defeat. Will Inquisition come in over the top, ready to pop that eternal tone? Those balloons <laughs> oh. are taking 
a lot of damage. He's holding on to it, though. There it goes. Second oh. star is claimed. He needs the third. Where's the cleanup coming wow. from? All <laughs> edges and all around. Here it is. Mark from Inquisition. The return of the king. Wow, that was absolutely insane, Woody. He's able to pull through a sigh of relief here as they make the comeback. And you said it, they would need a miracle when they went in the final exchanges with a two-star deficit, but they make him back there. And you can see he's through the roof there. He's excited. He knows what he's done. He's got the triple. And Inquisition are taking the lead on this this one they are taking the win and moving into that upper upper bracket with a 2-0 score one away from getting into the playoffs as the top seed so nicely done that was beautiful that was a just a really nice way to finish this war from a two-star deficit in the mid of the war to a victory now on a percentage tiebreaker inquisition undefeated atop the queso cup swiss stage advancing with a two and O record they will be among only four squads that can lay claim to that positioning chas mac ea with an admirable performance very strong in the early war but could not hold on to that lead they will be knocked down into the one one record position still a solid chance to advance onward but inquisition will hold the field today yeah, I want to know what Mark's heart rate is right now. <laughs> I'm sure his heart's like beating out of his chest right now. That's a, That was a lot of pressure. That was a lot of pressure. But that attack was so perfect all the way through. Every step of that attack was perfection. That queen going up there, getting the weight cleared there for the world champion. That world champion, like the extra invisibilities that he used in the core of the base there to help her get that extra multi-inferno down, that could have been a multi that potentially could have stopped the attack. But I think he could have even powered through that even if she didn't get there. That was a stellar, stellar final attack there and as you can see that puts some um, looks like seven no eight buildings into the lead above chasmac ea which is obviously enough to send them through for the win there so that that was a that was a very nice way to finish it there woody that was exciting i can't believe they're able to make the comeback because you don't see that very often you don't see a team go from a two-star deficit and then a pretty significant percentage deficit as well after we saw some of those attacks in the 80s but they were able to come back and they were able to lock in that win that's that's wild